So here in the latest episode of All Progressives Do Is Lie 100% of the time without exception, we have a, a new up-and-coming, I guess you could say, bre uh, aspirational bread tuber of sorts, uh, backyard politics. It, I mean, it, it's so difficult to pick the most egregiously dishonest video on this uh, human being's channel. Because, um, you know, like misgendering this person is probably like institutional violence and is going to get me kicked off of everything. But she's oppressed, right? So <laughs> I, I want to go through like any given video of this person's YouTube channel and just go over it. It's, it's just rife with misrepresentations, lies, you know, just absolute psychosis. So here we go. In one of my previous videos that I've done, uh, you can look back on all the police brutality videos I've done, uh, I covered the D... Just, yeah, real quick. People who believe that police brutality is anything other than a pimple on the ass of the mountain of problems that this fucking country has, mostly having to do with Blake criminality and Antifa, tearing up the streets, physically assaulting people, burning stuff... You know, getting getting working class people fired with the uh, tacit and explicit approval of the owner class. Uh, yeah, but let's hear about, like, that one time that a cop, like, accidentally killed someone. And let's overblow it and just use it to justify burning stuff and killing people. Let's hear this. We see protesters being kidnapped by unmarked police. We think they are in unmarked vehicles. <laughs> and the same thing is happening in Portland now. And it's probably coming to a city near you. So. Good. Yeah, I hope it's coming to a city near me because uh, protesters, no, they're burning down cop, cop shops. They're burning down courthouses. Mayor Wheeler is participating in these riots. You can call them peaceful fucking protests. But anybody who has eyeballs knows that BLM and Antifa do not protest. They riot and they indiscriminately physically assault people and kill people. Now, I think the death toll is at like, what, several dozen, if not hundreds of deaths in the frickin' riots. And, like, not to mention the widespread economic ruination, which, you know, commies think is probably awesome. They're not gonna flat out tell you that because, well, I mean, maybe behind closed doors or, like, ironically, if they're doing it sardonically or ironically alongside, like, oh, I haven't got my Soros check yet. Oh, <laughs> where's my Soros check? As they gaslight you, like, repeatedly. But, I don't know, continue. So, uh... This is Kasim Rashid for Congress, says, Portland, Oregon, unmarked and unidentified federal enforcement officers are bypassing local police, arresting people, and taking them in unmarked vans to reportedly undisclosed locations. This awesome. tactic is horrific and unconstitutional. So here's video footage of what is going on. Look at this awesome Chad. Portland. Chad, watch this. Oh, and by the way, I know that uh, one of my mic cords is uh, <laughs> the ears. Well, I'm working on it. Use your words. What are you doing? Use your words. Use your words. Talk it out. What is going on? We need to know who are you? NLG will get you out. <laughs> okay, so this has been speculated. This is another fed or an informant or something, and they're just extracting the dude, right? But either way, it's, I mean, physical removal of Anquifa is not kidnapping. They are, again, they are burning shit, physically assaulting people, doing graffiti, doing property damage. They're killing people. They're sending people to the hospital. They are um, engaging in economic terrorism where they fucking contact your employer, phone zap your employer because you hashtag the wrong thing, try to get you fired, which is violence, right? Colluding with the bankster class and the owner class to get working class people fired. Antifa and BLM are a terrorist cell in the United States and should be systematically physically removed. Like, I'll fucking say it, dude. But this, this horribly dishonest person... Backyard politics is framing it like it's a kidnapping, you know, it's an unjust kidnapping or whatever. It, it's just, let's just tell it like it is, dude. These are enemy combatants, terrorists in our country. And in a sane society, months ago, years ago, uh, riot cops would have gone into their 
protests, so-called, and just indiscriminately billy club them in the skull until they stop. Until they stop terrorizing working class people. But that's not happening. That hasn't been happening for the past four years. You know? So it, it's just absolutely insane. Um, let's continue. That, you know, if this is a this could be like a, a, a Fed trying to like gather intel about these mofos or whatever. Well, know, we'll we'll see what's up. We got you, friend. We got you. <laughs> Kill you, friend. They just violated their rights. No, no. You just Look at that. Some kind of camouflage driving a minivan. Violated their rights. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Um, so let me what, what are you doing? We're cleaning up the goddamn streets. Or that's a, a fed. I mean, either way. I mean, who gives? I mean, <laughs> she's not even pointing out, like, I mean, uh, maybe she'll get to that part. We'll see. Here. Jeff Merkley. Uh, from Oregon, Senator Jeff Merkley uh, said, Summary of our letter to Barr and Wolf, your authoritarian police state is not welcome here. Get out. So basically, like the mayor and the senators, like of Portland and, or of Oregon, like the mayor of, of Portland and the senators support this, like just openly support this street terror. And I mean, I don't know, lithiumed out or vaped out broads like this. <laughs> this is all. I mean, they think they think they, I mean, they're lying. Let's be honest. Like they're lying compulsively to to fit some sort of end, to meet some sort of end. Pro I mean, obviously, the destruction of Western civilization. That's sort of explicitly what they're talking about. If you look at the, uh, you know, if you look at the uh, website of Black Lives Matter, they explicitly say that they want to destroy Western civilization. They basically want to destroy the nuclear family, destroy whiteness, which Western civilization, we, we all know what that means. Like, we don't even need a dog whistle at this point. Um, I mean, unless you want to get kicked off the platform. Um, Oregon. And then um, if you guys go to my Twitter, go to my likes, this is on there. You can read that. And then he said, um, this was previous to that, he said, breaking, when I get back to D.C. next week, I will be introducing an amendment to the defense bill with Ron Wyden to stop the Trump administration from sending its paramilitary squads into, onto America's streets. We won't let these authoritarian tactics stand. Well, so that, you know exactly where the Senate stands, I guess. They are explicitly supporting terrorism they are explicitly openly supporting terrorism dude if there was any sanity in this country right now they would be charged with fucking treason and they'd be executed via a rope around their fucking neck like what the how does anyone see this look at this ridiculous person just like lying just blatantly lying in front of you but like these are people who are being victimized because they're being arrested during a riot on my lands. Um, and then let me see what else I was going to show you. Oh, this is in L.A. This is a side subject, but it's relevant. No, I mean, it's cherry picked. Where it was. Um, I, don't, I don't care. Status dude. coup wrote. On Tuesday, at a protest in downtown Los Angeles, police assaulted a black man in a wheelchair, Joshua Wilson, why does it matter what color he is, other than that you're trying to drum up, you know, race riots in the streets. Trying to drum up race war in the streets, like, that's all you're trying to do. Pushing him to the ground, manhandling him, and arresting him. He was released on Wednesday. Yeah, you know, I don't really care, you know, because if you're a member of BLM or Antifa, you need to be systematically removed from society. You need to be physically removed from society. For all I know, this dude in the wheelchair was, like, fighting people or had a weapon. I don't know. I don't I don't care. Either way, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. So she's going to play this video, and I'm just going to freaking laugh. So go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see it. Oh, poor. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But he 
a threat, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, right. He is a threat. He is a threat. Anyone espousing this ideology is a threat to the United States. Anyone engaging in this commie, rabble-rousing, anti-American, compulsive lying and drumming up riots in the streets is a threat and needs to be removed. Absolutely. Abso-fucking-lutely. And we don't know. Again, this is like a deceptively edited video. We don't know what dude was doing before this, and I don't care what he was doing before this because, honestly, we know there was probably some fuck shit. And he might, you know what? He might be a high-level financier of this kind of stuff. He might be someone who, I don't know, like, posted some sort of incitement on the internet. Like, hey, you Antifa or BLM, go attack this person or whatever. Like, we don't know. We don't know what he's done. The video is deceptively edited. And uh, as per usual, like, the Antifa BLM suckers, or liars, are trying to sucker us into believing some stupid shit so that, we, so that people go hurt people. That's what they're doing. That's what lies like this are doing. How many cops does it take to arrest a paralyzed man? Oh, yes, the policing expert has logged on. I have... <laughs> Yeah, of course, I know all about it, because my understanding of these matters is rooted in playing video games and watching movies and reading headlines and infographics on Facebook. Man. Shut up. Apparently it takes at least two. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Dude, who cares, man? So, um, back to Portland, the Clippian that I've mentioned, uh, quite a few times, they are our local paper, our local high school paper. Uh, they tweeted, the moms have formed a line on the street and <laughs> the federal chant, I don't see no riot here. Take off your riot gear. <laughs> Just lies. Oh my God, look at the mothers. Yeah, it wouldn't be the first time that the left has used not only women, but for, like, like women and children as shields, okay? Like, for PR and optics, like, they're just such brazen fucking liars, dude. The courthouse is burned down, everything was graffitied, people are getting assaulted. Oh, but look at this, look, look at this line of moms! Moms who are agitating for the destruction of Western civilization, the destruction of the nuclear family, the disbanding of cops, the taking away of people's guns and right to defend themselves. Also making sick mobs of angry, brainwashed flakes on white people. Like, that's what this is, dude. And there's such brazen, shitty liars about it, dude. Continues led by them. So there was, on the front lines, a bunch of moms <laughs> and, uh, the precious video footage of that. The precious. Look at these precious moms. They're, pro they're probably single moms who like left their kids with a babysitter to go do this. Absolutely revolting. Women first. Uh, I'm gonna focus on my career and abandon my kid at daycare. I'm gonna go work at daycare and school while I send my kid to daycare. You know, those types. Does that look violent to you guys? Yes. Yes, yes, it does. Yes, 100%. There is absolutely zero the fuck such thing as a peaceful Black Lives Matter or Antifa rally. There is absolutely no such fucking thing. All progressives do is lie 100% of the time, no exceptions. Um, it says, uh, let's see here. Okay, so then I have, this is from the Washington Post. It says, the Oregon governor wants federal officers out of Portland. Trump officials won't listen. Why? Because Trump is at least partially an alpha male Chad, at least at times, um, because of this, dude. Like, because of this, you know? Because of unrest and arson and murder and vandalism and disorder and chaos in the streets. It's because 
But those of us with intellect, right, those of us who are capable of intellectual honesty know that this is just absolute horror. I mean, this is horrid bullshit and needs to be stopped. Months ago, years ago, this should have been stopped. Like, the very idea that any of these Antifa assholes should have any sort of influence or power or ability to do what they're doing in the streets or in the classroom or in the media or anywhere, that should have been squelched long ago. But we've allowed it to get to this point. And now more people have died as a result of these riots than have basically ever been killed unarmed or unjustly by cops. Like, ever. So, like, the entire ruse is being exposed. Uh, For almost two months, protests, often peaceful, sometimes less so, have been going on in Portland, (laughs) Oregon. (laughs) They caught the attention of the president of the United States, who spied an opportunity to create a dramatic confrontation that (laughs) his re-election message of... Law and order. I mean, that's so that's so biased, isn't it? Like you can tell the kind of stuff that this this gal reads, like probably Mother Jones, The Guardian, Fox, just horrible places. You know, like horrible neoliberal fucking rags like that. It's just awful, awful anti-American, anti anti middle American, anti worker sort of uh, like the kind of people who look at like a white middle American dude who likes to go fishing and hunting. Like, look at that. It's just the biggest fucking horror, most horrible, like evil thing. Like whiteness, patriarchy, like horrible urbanite trust fund, awful bourgeois type people. <laughs> like, yeah. So this week, federal officers came to Portland and began arresting people. But Good. Guess what? Local officials don't want them to do this. And for very good reason, it's apparently making the situation worse. There is reason to believe that this is exactly what the Trump administration wants. Dude, listen, this is what middle America wants. This is what this is what workers want. They don't want to have to dodge fucking Molotov cocktails on their way to and from work. OK, like <laughs> this is what this is what people who move out of these fucking cities want. That's what they want their former hometowns to be. I mean, I, this is just absolute, oh my goodness. In an interview, Governor Kate Brown of Oregon told us that her contacts with Trump administration officials about the situation had convinced her that they are not interested in problem solving. Dude, so the establishment of, of uh, Oregon agrees with you, agrees with you. Airhead McGee over here. I mean, I do, do, do these people not understand that they've been allowed to do this for months and months and months, for years and years and years, with little to no consequences? Like, they will get arrested, but then promptly released with nothing or a slap on the wrist, right? They, they must know right now that BLM is generously funded by the banks and the corporations, you know, to terrorize workers in the streets. And that, because that's that's what they're doing. I mean, the the anti cocksuckers hate the white working class the same way that the banksters and the fucking corporations do. Like that's what we're observing here. They are useful idiot cannon fodder for like companies like Amazon and banks like Bank of America and Wells Fargo, who pump fake money into the economy to meet their own financial ends and their own power grab demands. And it's basically anyone who would go into the streets and protest this sort of thing, like protest actual power, not go beat up some boomer wearing a fucking MAGA hat, is, well, the the, the boomer wearing the MAGA hat is the guy who they got to beat up because he's the middle American worker who's protesting against things like mass immigration and, you know, um, bankster trickery and corporate fucking fuckery, you know, and they need to be dealt with apparently. Because they need that that sort of dissenting movement has to be squelched by bourgeois fucks like this. And this has nothing to do with public safety. Yeah, it does. More- it has to do with restoring order, toots. Okay. More troubling still, Brown tells us that the situation had actually been improving in recent days, and that the arrival of federal enforcement has caused it to deteriorate. Go figure, right? 
deteriorate kind of like what you guys you guys are all about deteriorating dismantling western civilization dismantle this uh end that you know destroy this destroy whiteness dismantle dismantle the patriarchy which is absurd by the way the, the idea that like we are anything resembling a patriarchy right now we should be but we're not um, <laughs> we're, we're, we're definitely not but uh, we know that things were calming down, Brown, a Democrat told us. We know that the presence of federal officers has inflamed the streets. Over the weekend, a young man protested was shot in the face and severely wounded by less than lethal ammo. The fact that they call that call it that is bullshit. Um, from federal. Why? I mean, badass first of all, but why is that bullshit? Why is that bullshit? I, mean, I, I don't. And so this is, and I warn you, it is graphic. This is video footage of that. Sweet. Let's go. Dude, this is like porn for me. <laughs> uh, let's go. Yep. Nice. Beautiful. Fuck you. Fuck you, let us terrorize people in the streets. Why are you doing that? I'm gonna take that back just a bit because I think I'm sitting in your way. Hang on. It'll let me. Okay, here we go. There he drops. Sweet. I, I mean, that's that's cops restoring law and order. That's awesome. That is fuck. They're heroic as far as I'm concerned, dude. Like, I, pff, I mean, for the most part, I do not love cops. I will. I respect them. You know, that that's the real differentiation here. Like, uh, you don't need to love the cops. I think that you need to respect law and order. You need to respect things like hierarchy, self-discipline, meritocracy. Right. Those are those are good right-wing values that none of these people respect they hate them like they hate the values of middle america like that's ultimately what they want to destroy it's just absolute disgusting nonsense dude so full warning that was a uh, brief video footage of that um and then it says if they were really interested in helping us, they would have had conversations first and taken actions. <laughs> what the hold on? Ready, fire, aim. Oh my goodness. <laughs> have you ever, okay, yeah, people who've watched my channel for any given length of time, have you seen countless videos on my channel of people, of myself and other people attempting to have conversations with Antifa and BLM, and you see that they are incapable of. Anything resembling reason, anything resembling intellect, anything resembling honesty, they just go straight to, like, shoving you around, shoving you out of space, and shouting you down, physically assaulting you, all while wearing masks, so that you can't, so that if they, you know, hurt you, you can't press charges. And if you defend yourself, you're either going to get mobbed or sued by some rich trust fund kid behind the mask and his team of lawyers. Like... That's why documenting these fuckers, I felt, early on was so important. Even back in the 2016-17 era when I was more or less, like, half treating them like a joke. Like, oh, 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 soy boys. Not realizing how dire this all was. Or not fully realizing, you know. But that's what it is, dude. Which, I, I don't know why she put it in that order. It should be ready, aim, fire, but whatever. Brown said that on Tuesday, she bluntly told the acting Secretary of Homeland Security, Chad Wolf, that the presence of federal officers in the streets was exacerbating matters. Okay, no. I mean, if, if it's exacerbating matters, it's only because they're not being removed well enough. They need to be seriously corralled into the back of a fucking van, all of them, and disappeared from society. Removed. Seriously, the cop, that's exactly what the cop should be doing to restore law and order. I can't fucking stress this enough. 
I told him. That I mean, it, it's only being exacerbated because they're not hardcore enough. <laughs> like, completely ass backwards. The federal government should remove federal officers from our streets. No! I said it's like adding gasoline to a fire. <laughs> they're starting fires! They're burning the courthouse! And the mayor is, like, with them! <laughs> With stupid An Anquifa COVID Tifa mask on. Denying, like, on a live stream, denying that the shit's going on the way it is. It was Brown that said that. Um, she also said, uh, we do not want you here. You are exacerbating the situation. Adding that the mayor of Portland <sighs> had the same conversation with Wolf. It provokes confrontation to have federal troops on the streets fucking traitors dude this is purely for for political purposes oh my god wolf refused the request all progressives do is lie all the time without exception it's political purposes for Wheeler and brown to do it it's so that they can pander to like the far left like in the you know before the primary this is what they do they pander to extremists before the primaries and during the primaries. And then they usually pivot back to the center during the, the, the general, right? This is their fucked up strategy, dude. This is how they terrorize dissenting opinions, dude. This is how they've been doing it. The establishment is in on this shit. Let me just double check my shit here. All right, we're still going. How long have we been going? Damn. Must have been going for like ever. Well, I've been going for like a half hour on this fucking... Uh, <laughs> It was really clear Ugh. that they were not interested in conversation, Brown told us. If they were interested in a solution, they would have been willing to de-escalate and dialogue. <laughs> Wolf has what since painted a lurid, a lurid picture of the protest to justify the use of federal law enforcement, claiming Portland has under siege, has been under siege for 47 straight days by a violent mob, which is... Did that look violent to you, any of that footage? Plus, I'm gonna. Yes, you fucking liar! And plus, you're fucking cherry picking the footage. Yes, mobs of people with masks on, shouting people down, crowding around people, physically assaulting people, burning shit, doing graffiti, smashing property, attacking police officers. Yes, that is not peaceful. Even if they were, even if they were doing way less of that, it's still not peaceful because they're trying to disband the cops, take away people's guns. So that later on they're more apt to, so so that they have a a, a, a more a milieu that is more conducive for them to mob white working class people in their fucking homes. That's what it is. I'll show you more footage, and that each night lawless anarchists destroy and desecrate property, and attack the brave law enforcement officers protecting it. Blah blah blah. Ugh. The same off. Ugh. Oh, we got lithium Leslie over here. That's what I'm gonna call her. The lit, the lith <laughs> the lithium Lesbo over here, dude. Like this, this is just ridiculous, dude. Like again, oh, oh my god, I'm just I'm thunderstruck. Officers that are killing people every day. Officers that are killing people every day, every day. No, they're killing fucking thugs who pull guns on people, weapons on people getting shootouts with fucking people. No. She's the kind of... I mean, I remember in a, in a comment thread that I was arguing with her actually earlier, and uh, she's like, oh, cops have killed... In the past year, they've killed a thousand people. They've murdered a thousand people. It's like, well, viewers of my channel, we all, and we all know that that thousand, the vast majority of them were attacking other people with weapons or attacking the cops with weapons and or reaching for the cops shit we all know that she fucking has to know that at this point but she's just brazenly fucking lying and her, she doesn't realize or maybe she thinks it's awesome that her lies are getting people killed she, does she know like does she know this does she care does she think it, i mean does she know and think that it's for like a greater purpose and therefore fine or good like i don't know Brown flatly rejected this as an exaggeration. It's an overstatement and a deliberate effort to provoke, Brown said. Their presence here escalates the situation, and it is a blatant, ab blatant abuse of power by the federal government. It's not entirely clear which federal law enforcement divisions are in Portland, 
but we got a clue when Wolf traveled to Portland, whereupon he found some graffiti and then helpfully tweeted photos of himself with a variety of officers, some looking as if they were about to invade Fallujah. So th- this is this is the problem, dude. This is like obviously a highly biased opinion piece, and she's sort of like reading it as if it's objective as fuck, right? I mean, that's just that's just fucking. I mean, dude, like, <laughs> dude, you're gonna get a way more based and red pilled and sort of like fact based uh, analysis from any right wing or far right wing opinion guy than you will from. Any of these mainstream media opinion pe- people, you know, pundits or supposed reporters, dude, they just do nothing but lie brazenly, dude. No, removing Antifa from the streets, like beating these motherfuckers down, does not cause unrest. The unrest is their very presence. That's the unrest. In one photo, the officer's uniform reads Homeland Security Rapid Protection Force which is part of the Department of Homeland Security's Federal Protective Service. It's supposed to protect federal property. Another photo appeared to show Customs and Border Protection officers. On Friday, both ICE and CBP confirmed that they have officers on the ground in Portland. These are not military troops. They are federal law enforcement. Uh, Margo Schlanger, a senior <laughs> Homeland Security Margo Schlanger, oh, yeah. official under Barack Obama, told us this means not only that they can arrest people subject to their particular jurisdiction, though it's still not clear how this is applying in Portland, but also that state and local authorities can't tell them to leave. Um, Sweet. Let's see here. Okay. Dude, she's going to go Stephen forever. Vladek, God Adam, damn it. Professor of the University of Texas at Austin notes that there are numerous statutory authorities that allow the federal government to use a wide array of federal law enforcement officers in situations like these. Um, separately, OPB reported that federal law enforcement... Is she going to throw down any of her takes? I mean, I'm just... I, I guess she's just going to repeat an opinion piece and, like drill it into her audience's head or something. Uh, I, ...have been using unmarked vehicles to drive around downtown Portland and detain protesters since last, since at least July 14th. Awesome. Good. Whatever the truth um, turns out to be about the unmarked vehicles, a bigger picture is that it's plainly obvious that the government is trying to inflame the situation, and that is that is exactly what Trump wants. So they go on. Dude, to- Trump has been sitting on his hands for the past fucking ever, allowing this fucking shit to happen. If you want to talk political reasons, like he's got this like convoluted boomer idea that if he just does nothing and allows Democrat run cities to go up in flames, that people are just going to rush out to the polls and vote Republican to get like an alternative. And I guess the alternative is a dude who did absolutely nothing for months and months and months. That's like the the deranged like boomer like strategy, I guess. That's like the you know the conservative ink sort of like Charlie Kirk sort of like you know take on it or Trump, you know what I mean? Like MAGA ink sort of take on it. Let's talk about. So it's not it's not it's I mean what Trump wanted was to I guess do nothing forever until now until it's like too late and a whole bunch of people have already died and had their lives ruined. That. What I want to bring to your attention is back here where it says, oh, shit. Separately, OPB reported that the federal law enforcement have been using unmarked vehicles to drive around downtown. That's what I was talking about. And it says, and detain protesters since at least July 14th. Well, Alpha. Alpha. Thursday, June 25th, which is prior to that. Oregon lawmakers question plane flying over protests with ties to U.S. Marshals. And uh, this is not only in Portland, this was in Salem as well. And I remember looking up saying, um, who the fuck's flying above us? I'm sweaty. Can we, like, unpack this? Like, who hurt you? <laughs> so it says, this is from KTU, a uh, local news channel. I won't, I don't think I'll read the whole thing, but maybe it's short. 
Oregon's congressional delegation is demanding to know whether the federal government is using aircraft to spy on pre Portland protesters. Uh, Senators Ron Wyden and Jeff Merkley and Representatives Blumenauer, Bonamici, and Schrader sent a letter to the U.S. Marshal Service regarding a plane that was spotted over the Portland protests on June 13th. According to a story first reported in Willamette Week, the plane was formerly linked to the U.S. Marshal Service and it may contain equipment capable of collecting cell phone data. Cool. So we can get all of your frickin' like private chats where you basically strategize on how to hurt people. Cool. Good. In the letter, lawmakers say this would constitute a large-scale invasion of privacy. They're asking for answers to their questions by July 17th. I, I, I don't care. You terrorists have given up your right to privacy. You have given up your, you've given up any and all uh, rights, constitutional rights, as far as I'm concerned. You've demonstrated time and time and time and time again that you are not here for, again, like I said, you're not people of intellect. You're not here to express your fucking freedom of speech. You are here to terrorize people. So, Good. The questions include all of these things as to I, how did they violate their privacy. <clears throat> so, there's some fuckery going on. Uh, also, kudos to the Convo Couch. They're in Portland right now, which is badass. Um, I wish I could be there. <laughs> I'm trying to get a group of people together and um, not only to raise a little bit of money to get up there which it's not that far but it does take you know some gas money but i also have kids that i have to figure out oh. what i'm gonna do with if i leave at night oh fuck oh revolting she's prioritizing supporting fucking leftist terrorism in the streets over well not raising like brainwashing your kids you know, probably putting, plopping her kids in front of, like, drag queen story time type bullshit propaganda and just absolutely nuking their brains in the cottage cheese. It's absolutely revolting and absolutely horrifying, dude. The next generation coming up is going to be, you know, all these generations that we're seeing. Like, once they, oh, oh my God, they're going to overtake us. It's going to be so freaking horrible, dude. So Figuring all that We've stuff out, lost. I'm going to try my best to get up there as well. But Convo Couch is up there, and they reported on what's going up there, going on up there last night. And I just want to play a quick little interview uh, that Pasta did, and then you guys need to go over to their channel after this and watch this video. Go subscribe to their channel. But here's a quick little video or an interview that from Pasta. Pasta Jarduli here, Combo Couch, Portland, Oregon, in front of the federal building. Who am I here with? My name is Eva Vega, or Eva Vega. Eva Vega, what do you do for a living? I'm a school administrator here in Portland. I work at a high school. Oh, great, yeah. So we all know that schools are involved in this terrorism. I mean, I, I, I'm probably going to do a stream or, or a, a video later about this fucking local uh, Milwaukee public schools uh, art teacher. Open, Antifa, agitating, art, uh, rioting, terrorist art teacher, John Fleissner. Got plenty of videos of him. Uh, it'll be in the van of Unmask Antifa. Um, this guy, these these gals and guys that are just openly, brazenly using the institution of education to brainwash kids, and uh, it's really fucking disgusting. They think, I mean, they think that they are anti-establishment when they run the educational system, right? Does she? Do you think that she has any self-awareness of this whatsoever? Like, do you, do do you think she has? any cognizance of this whatsoever. Okay, so you said you've been here since day one. What's been going on since day one? Why are we all here today? I'm here for the Black Lives Matter movement. I'm here to be a voice, to amplify black voices, to say enough is enough in terms of like systemic racism and oppression. Yeah. So that was the whole mission to come out here. That's why I'm- Systemic systems, the structural institutional systems of institutions, just, you know, like academic gibberish and gobbledygook, just like runes. Right, you ask them what the systemic racism is, and they can only tell you that uh, a higher percentage of uh, minorities are in prison compared to other demographics, and that's all that they tell you. But then you try to get into statistics relating to crime and the way that different demographics interact with the police and interact with sort of uh, urban pathologies, you know, 
different different sorts of cultures and different ways that they interact with, for instance, drug culture and all that stuff. And then they, they just shut down and chant you down, start blasting, fuck Donald Trump, or they assault you, right? To try to knock your camera out of your hand, which is what's, you know, which what makes what they said earlier about, well, why didn't the Fed just come out here and talk with us? It just makes that sound completely ridiculous and that they're just lying because all progressives do is lie 100% of the time without exception. Um, you know, you, you, they can't name the system. They can't accurately describe the system. When you refute what they have to say, they assault you. So. Still out here? I just feel like this has turned into more of like a political war <laughs> like than it was just the Black Lives Matter movement. What exactly? It's turned into a political war instead of the Black Lives Matter movement. Did you fucking hear that? Oh, shit. I hope that the audio is good. I know that my microphone sucks, but I hope the audio on these videos is picking up well enough. I know sometimes it can be too loud or too short or too uh, quiet, but it's a political war instead of the Black Lives Matter movement. Like, what do you mean? The Black Lives Matter movement is a corporate bankster-funded shakedown, like street terrorist shakedown for cash, dude. It, 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 it's a budding race war in the streets. Exactly is the political. It, it's psychotic masked banditos going around terrorizing people. War right. now is it because the feds are here and people are trying to put blame somewhere else? Um, I believe so. I believe that the sorry, my mask's uncomfortable. I believe <laughs> that the movement was hijacked by alt left and alt right, and they've used it <laughs> as an opportunity to push their own agenda. But the peaceful demonstrators. Where, where? Has the so-called alt-right hijacked any, what do you mean, hijacked any of this? I, this goes back to this, like, ridiculous lying narrative that they're trying to push that, like, the, the rioting and the violence was drummed up by the alt-right. Anybody who's saying that is a brazen fucking liar. Um, no. The riot is the language of the unheard, remember? So why would you try to pivot blame away from the riots that you think are justified and rising up against an unjust system? Why would you lie and try to shift blame from you doing it to this phantom, invisible, so-called alt-right agitation? Why? It's just so convoluted and stupid and just dishonest. Like myself have stayed firm and why we're here. And what you see is an uprise and people coming to protect us because our civil rights have been violated repeatedly. I've been <laughs> shot with rubber bullets and tear gas multiple times. I haven't Beautiful. committed any. Can I take this off? I haven't committed any- Oh, you're killing grannies by taking that off. Oh my God. Oh wait, that's only when white Kyles and Karens try to like peacefully protest for their jobs back in like Brookfield. Oops. Yeah, no. Yeah, BLM riots don't fucking spread COVID-19. Only white people can spread that. Crimes while I'm out. Only white right-wingers or non-leftists spread COVID-19 when they protest. Right, I forgot. Here, I've been nothing but peaceful. I've been within my constitutional rights every time that I was here. And multiple times, my rights have been violated. My students are here as well. Oh. I haven't broken any laws. Openly, brazenly admitting that she's indoctrinating her kids to go be leftist street thugs. Just openly admitting it. Just saying that on the taxpayer dime, that's what she's doing. At best, Amazing. I'm like always just using my voice. At worst, I'm passively resistant, which is not grounds to be arrested. I've saw multiple civil rights violations while, while I have been out here. Um, and so what we're seeing now is since the Trump has ordered, ordered in federal troops, they have increased tensions because they have really abused their power to violate people, essentially <laughs> kidnapping people and shooting people who are within their constitutional rights. So not only is Wise. it a violation of our First Amendment right, but it is also of our Fourth and Fifth for illegal search and seizure. They've been using fake recognition, facial recognition technology to identify us, to get into our phones. I've been a victim of multiple things. And the irony is that I've had the opportunity to work alongside several Portland police officers and I have good rapport with them because yes. part of my, my career is creating positive interactions for my students with the police. Yeah. So I really feel as... This, I mean, this is just all brazen lying. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if, like, the cops and, like, Anquifa are somehow, like, connected or, like, I don't know. There's probably... I mean, I know that, like... You know, our politicians are being funded by the exact same people that fund Antifa and BLM. So, you know, this is all one big convoluted control matrix. Like, she's probably, I mean, I, I've seen, you know, 
back to that John Fleissner fuck. Maybe people, people might have watched my videos from the Milo Yiannopoulos uh, University of Wisconsin Milwaukee uh, agitation where um, Antifa took over the fucking cafeteria during a Milo Yiannopoulos speech, and the cops were basically just standing there, just allowing it to happen. And they just stole a MAGA hat directly in front of the cops. And as soon as John Fleissner ordered the cop to let the dude go after he stole property, he let him go. Like, he he followed his order. It was just fucking amazing. I have it on, on video. Maybe I'll link it in the description. But she's talking like, oh, yeah, I deal with police officers all the time. Like, yeah, wow, yeah. And this might have something to do with why they're so hands-off. They're probably funded by the same people sense of betrayal because they've acknowledged my peaceful presence here, yet they continue to shoot indiscriminately, and I'm victimized over and over, as are other people around me, pregnant people. You're not a victim. You are a communist rabble-rouser who is trying to destabilize my country. You deserve to be removed from society. People, children, people who are vulnerable and blind or disabled. So it's completely a violation of our rights. And what you're seeing now is people coming and saying, no, we're not going to have this. So there's people who aren't even supportive of Black Lives Matter who are now here just because they're in support of the U.S. Constitution. And they want. Uh, uh, excuse me, do you think that it's safe for a non or anti Black Lives Matter person to show up to one of these protests? Do you, do you sincerely fucking believe that? No, she doesn't believe that, because all progressives do is lie all the time, without exception. Just, just absolute brazen lying. Rights. So you said you felt like it was a little co-opted, all left, all right. However, you see some people have pivoted into coming in and protecting their civil liberties. Who do you hold responsible for this going on right now? Is it just more than Donald Trump? Is your governor, I mean, you work in the state, you work in the high school system. Has your governor and your elected officials locally done enough to stop this bullshit with the feds in the street? I don't <laughs> Just leading, just like bias questioning, dude. Well, who do you think is who do you think is responsible for all this unrest in the streets, the burning, the looting, the killing, the graffiti? Do you think it's Donald Trump, or do you think it's the people doing the looting, rioting, killing, and uh, arson in the streets? Oh, derp! Oh, COVID mask, come on, derp! I feel like they've done a lot enough. I feel like they can do more. I feel like now they're trying to come out and speak. I I take back that I agree with like uh, Joanne Hardesty she's done a wonderful job she's come out here with us on the ground but like Kate Brown Ted Wheeler we need them to be out here with us right now we Ted Wheeler I believe was out there with a COVID Tifa mask lying about it being peaceful before and after during and after uh, arson happening so that's stupid. Stop the lying. Portland police, police Bureau to come out here with us and stand with us and tell the feds that they need to go because they've escalated. All of the groundwork that we've done to get to where we were before they came was just completely taken aback when they arrived here. Taken aback? I'm taken so, aback. So, again, kudos to the Convo Couch for being up there last night and go over to their channel and subscribe. They do awesome work. Um, they're always on the ground level. Uh, interviewing grassroots uh, <laughs> grassroots <laughs> grassroots no absolutely not astro turfed bankster funded commie agitations in the streets to terrorize people stop lying this and uh, go support them so there's a couple of key points that let's I hear, wanted yeah. to mention Cool. Let's see. Let's hear some points, like for a change. Um, cops killed a thousand people a day in 2019, <laughs> and that's equivalent. Okay. Well, obviously that was a misspeak, right? Like I think we talked about it in the comments. You said a thousand people a day. She means a thousand people in a year, roughly, right? So she's gonna frame this, obviously, like BLM has been one to do, lying all the time. They're gonna frame it very disingenuously, like. Oh, yeah, that's a thousand people murdered by the cops every year. No, no, no. That's the cops doing law enforcement and defending the populace against violent criminals, many of which are armed, most of which are armed or reaching. So stop lying. Equivalent to three people every single day of last year. Three people a day. 99% of those cops, those killer cops, never <laughs> saw any charges. <laughs> Good. They were defending themselves and or the populace. Um, governor. 
this chick needs to watch a channel called Donut Operator. I wonder if she's ever watched that channel. If she, if, if you ever see this backyard politics, please consider watching Donut Operator. Please. Governor Kate Brown and all the other governors that are coming into a situation like this with federal people coming in and kidnapping. <laughs> uh, they have the power to call the National Guard in to protect the civilians from the feds. So use your power. Also, <laughs> the, uh, the Dems gave Trump an unlimited war budget. So it's not just a Trump issue. Okay, cool. So we have some common ground finally toward the end of the video. I don't like war. Dems suck. Um, but whatever, dude. Congress reauthorized. You're supporting a war here, so it's kind of like hypocritical. It's the Patriot Act, so that's what she's referring to when she's saying that all our phones are being spied on. I, for one, have mentioned all my shit feels like it's gotten hacked into because it's super slow. I'm not getting any notifications. I am beyond pissed because I'm already suck at technology. Um, Dude, listen. 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 Buttercup. Honey drawers, butterscotch, toots, princess, okay? Try being right wing on the internet, okay? I am banned from the following. PayPal, Teespring, Tinder for fuck's sake, Twitter, uh, fucking, let's see, what else, what else? Um, uh, my, my mailing list was fucking banned. Like, are you fucking serious, dude? <laughs> Merely being... Right. Oh, also Facebook. My Facebook page got banned. I'm in the middle of a 30-day ban right now. I think there's like two weeks left on it. So, by the way, subscribe to me on Alt Tech, like Telegram, uh, Parler, Gab, Minds, BitChute, Library. Please follow me on that stuff. Notice how she doesn't even have to fucking... Let's see if in her description she has any of that stuff. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, look, no. If she has links to anything for other websites, it's probably all mainstream tech, right? Because leftists typically do not get banned off of big tech. Now do they? Because the fucking board members at Google and Facebook and Twitter all agree with you. You liar. Also, we are in the middle of a global pandemic, an economic collapse, and a climate collapse. We got a... Climate change. Listen, the economic collapse that you lefty fucking idiots encouraged with your shutdowns, which were completely unnecessary. Right, exactly. Measly... $1,200 when there was the biggest transfer of wealth in human history. Hey, 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 dude, listen, a little bit more common ground, okay? $1,200. We should be getting $1,200 a month this entire time. Totally agree with you. And you know what? Um, a lot of the blue states have been doing a better job at um, handing out gibs in response to this. But at the same time, they encourage the shutdowns. So it's kind of like... Meh, like you, you guys encourage the shutdowns and then you bribe voters with gibbs. It's kind of like, you know, it, it's very convoluted and stupid. But yeah, I mean, like uh, boomer conservatives who, you know, are all bootstrapped about it. Yeah, I mean, I, I will definitely um, concede a little bit that that is like a stupid way of handling it in response to um, an ill-advised shutdown. 1% got it. And we still don't have Medicare for all. Okay, this is why dude. people are in the streets. It's not dude. just because black people are getting killed by cops. That is a huge part of it. But it <laughs> no, it's fucking not. There's absolutely no evidence to suggest that blakes are being systematically hunted safari style by the police. There's absolutely no scientific evidence to substantiate that. They have issues with crime, with violent crime, with guns and knives and whatever else. They have issues, okay, cultural issues, all right? And cops are disproportionately stationed in their areas because of that. So if you have more interactions with police, guess what the fuck's going to happen? Especially if you have this attitude that you get to fight with cops or whatever, try to steal their fucking weapons away, shoot at them. Yeah, guess what the fuck's going to happen? You fucking try to tangle with a dude training Krav Maga or fucking MMA and jujitsu and shit like that. And somebody who knows how to shoot better than you do, you fucking try to shoot at that guy. Yeah, guess what the fuck's gonna happen, genius? It's starting to become a general strike. It's not. And, and by the way, Medicare for all. Like, do you really think that that can happen in a like 
uh, I mean, geez, with all these disparate factions, let's just say, that have a different uh, relationship with the safety net, um, we're not a homogeneous society. <laughs> let's just put it that way. Different groups have a vastly different relationship with the safety net than others. And Medicare for all in that milieu, in that context, uh, first of all, we already kind of don't have it for all. I mean, we have it for basically poor people, uh, mentally and physically disabled people, women, uh, you know, immigrants, Med Medicare and Medicaid, you know, for, for, for uh, uh, you know, veterans, which of course we should. Basically, the only people that are not getting these benefits are like white, able-bodied workers. <laughs> white, able-bodied workers are pretty much the only people that don't get goodies like that. So it's like, and I'm sure she would retort with, yeah, well, yeah, they should get it too. But again, it, it, there's disharmony here because we have this like crazy milieu where all these different factions are pulling in different directions, taking more out of the safety net than they put in, Right. Uh, white Americans, I think, are the one of the only demographics that put more into the safety net than they take out on average. So does she not think that that's an issue? Like, she's probably going to call me a oasis for even thinking that or saying it. But... Just let's stop the black the killings of innocent black people, which it is partly that. But it let's stop the killings of innocent black people by. Bleak and Latino gangs. Yeah, let's stop that. If you go, oh, well, gun control. Yeah, well, we already have a fuckload of gun control, and it ain't working. So how about we have harsh sentences for people who fuck up with guns? How about that? But no, no, that would be racist. No, see, these people, these people are crazy. Like they want more and more and more gun control. I mean, I don't, I don't know what her stance on gun control is, right? But, um. You know, these people want more and more and more gun control, but then when someone actually fucks up with a gun, they want to release them in five fucking seconds. Or, or, or at worst, they want to, like, abolish prisons and police altogether. So, it, 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 I, I, I'm thunderstruck. It is also a um, general strike as far as we are. we need to stick up for ourselves. Because when we stop fighting, the 1% wins. <laughs> and we're, what do we got left, right? Uh, you got your bourgeois-ass parents who threw you trust funds for you to go move into the cities and party and blow it on being, like, a degenerate, hedonistic, lying, goofy-ass. I know, I mean, I'm not, I'm just, like, bantering with you. You could probably sense that I'm, like, bantering. But at the same time, I know the types of people, as a former leftist myself, who spent my better part of my 20s, going to, like, you know, punk rock shows and hanging out in the scene or whatever. I know exactly the kind of people these are, okay? Maybe not you personally, uh, backyard politics. I'm bantering with you a little bit. But come on, dude. So, all of that being said, it's good to be back. Um, I hope I've covered Portland as well as I can from not being there again. I really want to get there. Dude. So if you can subscribe to my Patreon. <laughs> She's not deplatformed from Patreon. Okay. No, don't abandon your kids and go fucking protest. Please don't do that. God damn it. This is the breakdown of society right fucking here. You should be at home with the fucking kids, not in the workplace, not teaching, not fucking in politics. You should be at home with the goddamn kids, okay? Jesus fucking Christ, dude. It's patreon.com. You should be having like 20 more kids, for fuck's sake. Jesus. Slash backyard politics. I am also now on Venmo. Um, you can catch me on Twitter at backyard politics, Instagram. Yeah, see, Twitter, Instagram, Patreon. Notice she's not banned from any of that, like yours truly. By the way, uh, Donate to me on uh, Subscribe Star because that's the only fucking platform that hasn't ban doesn't just ban people for being way fifth or whatever. Donate to me on fucking Subscribe Star Bitcoin because that's all I have left so far. Yeah, follow me at Bit Shoot Mind Gab, all that fun stuff. I'm know. at Backyard Politics Official, and I just got a Facebook, so it that's at Backyard Facebook slash Backyard Politics Official as well. Um, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Yeah, do all that. Don't, I mean, don't give her money. I mean, don't, don't encourage her to, like, abandon her family to go destroy the country. But, 
yeah, I mean, follow her and please, like, set her straight on the facts and set her viewers straight on the fucking facts, dude. Jesus, this was so fucking egregiously, like, absurdly, ridiculously dishonest or, like, ill-informed or something, dude. But anyway, I, I've had my fill of this. Maybe, maybe I'll revisit this, uh, yeah, oh, man, I've been going for an hour. But yeah, maybe I'll revisit this, this, uh, gal if she comes up with anything any more egregious like this, but uh, until then, uh, subscribe, bitch.